Hey guys, this is my five week pregnancy vlog. I am either, I'm in between five weeks and one day or five weeks and four days or six days. So, um, I don't know how far along I am, but I do have some really good news. On Thursday, the 9th of this month, which is in five days, um, I'm getting an ultrasound for dating to figure out how far along I am and see what's going on, where the baby is and everything. And um, I got blood work done yesterday, yeah, Friday, and it was at 3,990. So my HDG levels. Um, and eight days before that they were at 316 so um someone calculated how fast my hcg was rising and it was doubling every 52 hours although they said that after 1220 hcg your hcg doubles at 71 hours every 71 hours sorry so um my HCG is rising faster than normal, is what she said. So, that's pretty interesting. Um, but it's in the normal range, everything's great. And I'm really excited for my ultrasound. I also might have an ultrasound on Monday, but I don't know. I They said they wanted me to make an appointment with anatomy imaging to do another ultrasound this week, but I don't know if we're going to. I don't know what we're going to do about it. Um, so uh, we'll just see about that. I don't know what we're doing since we're already having one on Thursday. Um, also, first symptoms. Pretty much everything has calmed down. Like the headaches, I don't have them as much. I've been drinking a lot of Gatorade and water, and that seems to be helping. It did with Caden, too. Um, I'm not having cramps. I'm not bleeding. Nothing's going wrong. I feel kind of tired all the time, which is normal. I remember that with Caden. It's normal for everybody. Uh, with Caden, I never had any morning sickness at all. And this time, I haven't thrown up yet, but I am nauseous after I eat. I'm nauseous mostly at night. I haven't thrown up, so that's great, but I am nauseous this time around. I don't know if you consider that morning sickness or not, because it's just nausea, but it's terrible, and it's always at night when I'm trying to go to bed. Um, obviously, I'm not feeling any movement yet. I'm not really even showing yet, but I will do a belly shot because I want to remember um, how I was before. I know that when I eat a lot of food, I have a really big belly, but that's just normal for me. Um, basically, everything is going great. Um, my symptoms are, they're, they're not really anything other than nausea at night. I don't have headaches anymore. I don't have cramping. I just am tired and I get nauseous and I'm hungry basically all the time but I try not to eat um, like I did with my last pregnancy because I've already gained six pounds this month. Well, I don't know, it's in the past like two months so part of that might not be but I was 125 like, two months ago and now I'm 131 which is still in the healthy range for me, my size and everything, but um, I shouldn't have gained that much. And I chalk that mostly up to the fact that I've been eating all the time whenever I get hungry. And so I've stopped doing that because I had that with Caden and it just, I gained about 60 pounds, 65 pounds with him. And you're only supposed to gain, I'm only supposed to gain around 30 to 35 pounds so I gained a lot more than I should have with him and I blame that mostly on how much I ate and what I ate. This time around my cravings are fruits 
especially kiwis, although I haven't had any kiwis this entire pregnancy, but I really, really want kiwis. And strawberries, pineapple, um, s'mores. Basically, things that are sweet. Like, well, there's, there's some things that aren't, like sweet and sour chicken. I like sweet and sour chicken. I've been craving Chinese food. Um, but as far as like most meats that I used to crave when I was pregnant with Kaden, such as when I was pregnant with him, I always wanted KFC. And now KFC just disgusts me. It makes me feel sick just thinking about going to eat there. So I don't know if that's going to continue throughout my pregnancy, but I really am not in the mood for meat, especially greasy meat that just disgusts me. Which in my pregnancy with Kaden, grease, all, the more grease the better. And that's probably why I got so fat because um, I just wanted greasy meat and it was disgusting and unhealthy. Um, but this time I want uh, milk, cheese, fruit juice, fruit smoothies, fruit. Yeah, it's pretty much basically all fruit that I want. And s'mores. I have s'more cereal and I have s'more pop tarts. So, um, I don't know. That's just, that's just the kind of stuff that I've been craving so far. Um, so basically, I'm pretty excited. This is going by fairly fast so far. I mean, when I'm waiting for stuff to happen, it takes forever. Like this ultrasound waiting, it takes forever. But I'm really excited to see my baby. And obviously, I'm not going to be able to tell the gender yet. That's in like 10 weeks. 10, 11, 12 weeks, something like that. Um, here, they do it at 19, 20 weeks is when you find out the gender, so it's not going to be for a while, sadly, but um, we will get to see baby and see their heart because it'll be six weeks. So that will be super exciting, and I am so ready to get this show on the road, and when I do get the ultrasound, I will show you guys the pictures because I'll be doing my six-week pregnancy vlog then. So, you guys will get to see ultrasound pictures in my next video, and hopefully I'll get a video of my ultrasound itself, which I don't know if they allow that. I've seen a few YouTube moms do it, but not all places allow videos to be taken during the ultrasound. So, we'll just see what happens, and maybe I will be able to. That would be pretty cool. Um, but anyways, that's what's going on, and I am super excited, and I can't wait for you guys to see our baby with us. So, I'm excited. If you want to follow the things that I update the most, it would be Instagram. I'm always posting pictures and updates on Instagram, and they will know ten times before, faster before you guys do, because... I update there 20 times a day. So um, my Instagram is BeccaBabyDoll2011 one. And check that out because I'm always posting belly pictures, pregnancy updates, blah blah blah. Um, although I only have two belly pictures now, but there'll be 20 million by the time I'm actually showing. So uh, check that out. It's going to be pretty cool. And this, well, seven and a half months now is going to be pretty awesome. And I'm so excited have you guys join me on our second journey through this pregnancy thing and hopefully it ends up better than last time so I will do my belly shot now and it's obviously I'm obviously not showing so you're not going to see much but this is just a rough estimate of how it's solid. right here it's hard um, so basically it's basically my uterus I believe it's not really it's not floating anymore it's not anything like that it's just how my belly is so I'm super excited 
subscribe guys